Over time, the tubeless tape used in tubeless ready wheels will degrade or get damaged. Now you can visually inspect your tape for holes or other issues, but sometimes you can tell that your tape needs to be replaced because your tire no longer reliably holds air, even with fresh sealant, or sometimes you can even see air and sealant escaping through your spoke holes. I actually change my tubeless tape every few tire changes, and it's super easy to do at home. I'm gonna show you how. So the key with tubeless rim tape is that it needs to be about two to five millimeters wider than the internal width of your rim. Now, if you don't know the internal width of your rim, you can measure it with a pair of calipers or just look it up online. Now, the reason you want it to be wider is because you have the center channel in the rim and the tape needs to contour to that and then also be able to reach the rim walls. And it can be so wide that it goes up the rim walls a little bit, that's actually totally okay. So here I'm using a 29 millimeter internal rim and I'm using tape that is 33 millimeters wide. So we're gonna take out the tubeless valve first. All right, and we're gonna remove our old tape. Hopefully it all comes off in one easy piece but I like to uh, you know, wipe down the rim with some rubbing alcohol just to make sure there's no gunk or anything on the rim that's gonna make the tape not stick as well. All right, so give it a wipe all the way around, especially give it a good wipe you know, where the uh, tire bead is gonna seat. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now when we're taping the rim, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the side with the valve hole. And I generally start taping about two spoke holes away from the valve hole. So that makes sure, that just makes sure there's plenty of tape covering the whole wheel when you go all the way around. So we're gonna start two spoke holes over, put the tape down in the center. I'm gonna press it down and hold it. I'm gonna stretch the tape and lay it down the middle. And we're gonna do this a little bit at a time. We're gonna stretch. And you don't need to go crazy with the stretching. And we're just gonna keep going. And sometimes it helps to sort of wiggle the tape side to side to make sure it's like perfectly centered between the rim walls. Now, once you've made it all the way around, we're gonna keep going and we're gonna have a little bit of overlap over the uh, valve hole. So keep going and we're gonna go past the valve hole. And same as when we started, we're gonna go about two spoke holes past the valve hole. And we're gonna cut the tape, press it down. And now just go all the way around the wheel again, pressing the tape down, making sure it's sticking. And you might get some like little wrinkly bits or air bubbles like that, that's totally fine. When you're doing this at home, it's never gonna look as good as it does when a wheel comes taped from the factory. It'll still work just fine. Okay. Now to put the tubeless valve back in, we're gonna cut a hole in the tape. I'm just gonna use a blade, you can use some scissors or whatever, and I'm just gonna put a little cross in the tape where the valve hole is, then insert the valve. There you go. That is a freshly taped wheel. Put your tire on, air it up, and you're good to go. An extra roll of tubeless tape is always a good thing to keep in your toolbox. It's super handy, and hopefully now you know how to tape your wheels at home in just a couple minutes. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.